What's going on everyone? So today we're gonna to take a look at Clove Stock, C-L-O-V, Clover Health Investments. So past few days, it has gone absolutely insane. Look at this, right? So let's zoom out really quick. Just keep everybody on uh, track and just show you guys what happened. So pretty much most part, it was trading around sub $10, give or take, even down to seven, all of a sudden, bam goes up and you can see the date at the bottom pretty much high at $28 pretty much 29 almost and currently today we're at 1487 pretty much now let's go ahead and see some updates what has gone on so before I get started just remember guys this video is for entertainment purposes only this is my own opinion be sure you don't reach before making any investments now currently right now if we check out the high short interest stocks guess what? Clove, at least when I'm recording, is ranks number two at 36.1%. Flow 112 mil, outstanding 148. And basically, in case you have no idea, it's technically a health related company. Now, now Workhorse is actually number one. And then Blink, etc., the top pretty much one through three. And, and funny thing is, I don't even see AMCs even on here right now, which is kind of interesting. But um, that's something to keep in mind is it's it's num it's high it's up there so one that encourages reddit wall street bets to have high interest in it which technically it's already went up significantly now basically it's starting to sell off we're at 15 right now and let's just see what has gone on so we're just catching back up on some news just to keep everybody aware because i think a lot of people were focusing on amc lately in case you guys haven't realized and now actually amc is taking quite a tumble and it's definitely red today for the most of the um, Reddit meme stocks. But definitely let's just catch up and see what's going on. So pretty much here's what's going on here. So you can see basically Clover Explosion, Wall Street Bets Community. And then pretty much over the past five days, it has seen a stock increase of 129%. And they say they believe a short trees could be at play for the company, which any almost every Wall Street Bets sees some sort of short squeeze type uh Similarity AMC still has their uh, short squeeze back GME technically it's it went ran up too, but technically it still has some um, some potential again And it looks like clove is on that list now and uh, Basically, I got showed you guys the short interest 36.1 percent and then all that data here and that's barely higher than AMC which is interesting because if you guys are following AMC lately let me just show you some reference in case you guys have no idea. But AMC did its run just the past few days ago. Now AMC is taking a tumble here. But if you guys watched pretty much historically, it's hard to see. I'll show you guys the one hour. AMC already ran up to 70 plus. So it did its thing and then it sells off right now. But it's still continuing. And Clove seems to have copied sort of a similar pattern run up again in a um, similar time frame now selling off here and the, the thing is with the data regarding the um, all the pretty much red stocks is a lot of them saying the shorts haven't covered yet now regarding clove I don't have that data so maybe if you guys have it access to it definitely comment below and check it out but um right now at least it seems like all the meme stocks are following a similar pattern so if that's the case and technically they still have time to cover and there's still a potential for a short squeeze, then at the current price, I mean, if this were to squeeze and run up again, then that would make the price um, a attractive offer. Now, that, again, that's assuming that the squeeze uh, continues and obviously the price surges up because if it doesn't and it takes months or weeks or even every, if it actually doesn't even happen, then the price could return back to its normal fundamental value. But again, as long as I think one, the volume behind Clove is up, which is actually is up quite a bit uh, today, two, the Wall Street Bet community is behind it, then yes, we could see some potential. Now, just looking again back at this article, we can see here they say some things about Clove. So, for instance, they had some red flags. So they said they noticed that they received a investigation from the SEC, and pretty much that follows a Hindenburg report saying Clover misled investors about critical aspects of Clover's business in the run-up to the company's SPAC to go public transactions. And what they said is they claimed that Clover had not disclosed that its business model and its software offering are under active investigation by the DOJ, Department of Justice, 
while is investigating at least 12 issues ranging from kickbacks to marketing practices to undisclosed third party deals, etc. And since then, pretty much, I mean, regardless of this uh, claim, this article against them, it still ran up quite an insane amount. And you can just see the percent compared to the other meme stocks because typically once the general, the top meme stocks start to run up, the following ones seem to follow a similar pattern. So for instance, GameStop was up 19%. AMC says 5 but AMC has been up way higher than 5%. Uh, looking back at its old uh, price point. And even BlackBerry is up 4%, but I'm pretty sure it's up significantly from its lower base. But let's hop over to Reddit. Let's see what people are doing coming over the DD, the research here. So these are all most of the research stuff I can find. And then um, feel free to comment below any other information. So again, this is Reddit. So take this with a grain of salt. I wouldn't look at these posts as if it's factual. I'd look at it as potentially true. And then you'd have to find out on your own if this is legit or not. But based off this guy's post or girl's post, let's see. It says, Clove, it says, look at the Ortex data. Short interest increased by 5.5% today with the SI 49% and the borrow interest rate is around 116 from Fintel. So Clove, he says, upvoted. And basically, he believes it could reach 100 plus. So again, if short squeezes occur, there's really no price top. Like if you guys follow AMC, there's some price predictions like in the six figure range, like it's ridiculously high. So there's really no prediction of where the tops are for these squeezes. But if they occur, it's basically based off of the holders and whether or not they decide to sell or not. But here he has uh, little things right here. So one thing is he said, he says that closure is a distraction from AMC and Citadel owns maximum shares. And um, which that's what I think too. I think it was a distraction or is still a distraction. But again, it's just biased based off of whether or not you're um, a fan of both or you just prefer one, etc. But basically he thinks it's not um, true. And he says Citadel owns closed shares, but less than 0.02%. And then pretty much you can see it owns 700,000 AMC stock, which is way more than Clove. So I think, again, this is something you can look into yourself. He talks about the employees. I mean, apparently it has 500 employees, which you can verify on LinkedIn, and they're recruiting more. So definitely you guys can click and um, research into this. But I checked the comments. I didn't really see much um, in terms of like correcting him. So possibly. But regardless, let's look at this other post I saw here. Something 30 day. Now, Technically, there's still a few hours till lunch new time where the volume increases significantly. But for it to see 30, I mean, it already did it uh, already here. Like, it already did 30, pretty much, or 29 almost. So, you'd have to see significant volume come up out of nowhere, one, for it to do, basically, to re reach back at that, that similar price point. Which could, it could, it could not, who knows, right? But typically, when things run up quickly, it's very difficult for it to do it over and over again. So unless the squeeze is actually occurring, then it's not going to just go up 30, 15, 30. Like, it just that, that doesn't make sense, right? But um, looking here, this guy has a post. Yesterday's drop explained and pretty much talks about more cash and community behind Clove, which, yes, looks like um, the initial run-up caused a lot of people to look into Clove, too. But um, let's just see what this person puts. So one is warrant holders. So this states... As part of the SPAC process, warrants were issued that gave investors and sponsors the ability to buy the Class A stock for 11.5. This was in April, and then also they released SEC filing about the warrants. The warrants they express or they represented less than 10% dilution, and then you can see the number that he puts. And then pretty much he said, let's assume majority of the warrants were exercised yesterday morning about 25. So if that's the case, he thinks that alone that would have driven the stock price down by three. And then good news is the cash proceeds of the warrants go to the company. So close rate for for three mil in cash process. So or in this process. So that's pretty much what he puts in terms of the warrant holders, short sellers. Let's look at them. So obviously, if you guys saw the interest, it's super high. So they have it again, massive short volume at borrow rates. This added to the drop from the warrants being exercised. And then pretty much paper hands too, which of course this is I think the biggest factor is paper hands because all this. Um, stuff this data here it's great and all but in reality it depends on who's in clove right because if you guys know amc at least apparently 80 percent of retail owns amc so it's basically retail controls whether or not they sell and they make a panic sell or not pretty much but for clove i don't know the data in terms of who owns majority shares 
So it just depends on uh, how they feel about the stock and whether or not they think it has a potential to squeeze up. I mean, it already ran up significantly. So who knows? It did reach a high 24, 25, then again 28. So if it were to run up again, that would be amazing. I can't, I can't predict the top, but again, it's just time will tell. We have to wait and see. The main factors is volume has to increase significantly, which it could potentially, but until then, we'll have to wait. But do let me know your thoughts, your price predictions on Clove. Do you think it has long-term potential and do you think a squeeze is going to occur or do you think it's done, it's over? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one.